Hi, I'm Jörn, and this is my introduction to the new and improved copy holder called FileButler. It can handle true files, like handled in a law firm. The keyboard is arranged in your ergo sweet spot, right in front of you, rectangular arms, and um, you can draw the file butler right over the keyboard so now your file is arranged in your ergo sweet spot you can manipulate it read it handle it and after pushing it backwards make inputs to your keyboard however you may see that currently the file obstructs the monitor so this is actually why no one ever arranged copy holders in front of the monitor if inclined in a reasonable ergonomical angle. So what this can do is with only one motion lower this so you can fully view the monitor or in case your file is not that thick, raise it, shift it, and arrange the file into an intermediate angle. Always the angle is maximized when the file is pulled towards you. You can manipulate it with only one hand or when browsing through the file, even with no hand at all. Three angles is possible. So this is the intermediate. The lowest. And the always horizontal configuration. You can see the roller is casting on three different uh, ramps. In case you need uh, to, to handle thicker files, you can raise the file stop. It's made from wood. In case you have single pages, you can either fully remove it or put it in a flat configuration. Ugly like hell, you're saying? You're right. So this is why some designers put much effort and work into making this one sexy. So here we now have what our designers said is sexy. The functions are 100% identical to the one shown before. However, this is all uh, accommodated in a very thin uh, box with a very small form factor. Uh, the whole thing is about seven centimeters high. Um, maybe this uh, file stop a bit higher. And um, you also have a height adjustable stop. So you can also handle the files which are a bit thicker. Now, I promised you to do magic, and um, I will show you magic now. What you won't see is guide rails and rollers. Again, the file is arranged in my sweet spot. The, uh, the file support is automatically raised, and um, then only by this horizontal sliding motion. The keyboard and the trackpad stay where they are. Uh, the base body stays where it is. However, is rather swallowed by the box of the sleigh. Or, um, and we have this go swallowing the keyboard and the touchpad. You can also use it in the, hor in the horizontal configuration, especially when you are handling smaller things like this net bag, net book or, or 
this iPad. You view the monitor, you work on your file, uh, on, your, on your electronic file, you pull the device towards you and it rests again in your ergo sweet spot. So how do we switch the angles and the back mouse position? I'll show you that in greater detail now. This joint is adapted to connect the sleigh, the file support and the file stop. All on this one axle. This axle is providing a play in order for the file support to facilitate this horizontal sli sliding motion. And what this does is engaging the rollers with different slopes underneath this box. Almost impossible to get hurt because everything is well hidden from contact and from sight as well. So if we get it to the other configuration, we have a different angle in the backmost position. And if we pull it in this configuration, it fully folds together and gives this wonderful lean picture. So now you are asking how does this magic function? And since I'm an engineer, I'm not a magician, lucky you, I will show you. So these have always stayed where they are. And basically we have two parts here. The one is the sleigh and the file support. And these rollers in the interior are adapted to engage the ramps. The front most rollers are for taking the forces of whatever you put on here, may it be the iPad or uh, your paper file. And the back most are for safety reasons only and might be replaced by um, some gliding element that is gliding on the surface of your desk. In addition, in the middle you see some structure that engages with the guide rail which I will show you now. This is the base body, the base. It holds one, two, three ramps on the one side and one, two, three ramps on the other side. In the middle there's the guide rail which is only guiding the motion of the sleigh with respect to the base. The base and the front, this is the only part that you see in a normal configuration. In order to cope with the inertia of heavy files, we need to somehow mount this to the desk. I accomplished this by these um, 
fabric adhesives where I cut out um, circular coin-like uh, elements which I attach to the surface of my desk and which interlock firmly with the desk in order to take all the forces that are to be led into the surface of the desk. All right, so arranging this, just doing like this. When setting it up, you will probably first position the keyboard where you want it. Some people want some more space between the keyboard and the edge of the desk. I like it like this. And then you engage the upper part. Slate. Voila, that's it. I hope you liked the presentation and I'm looking forward to receive your request for further information or discussion. I'm always um, available for a video conference. Um, send me an email b.otto.hofer-pat.de or um, you can uh, call me on my phone. Um, plus four nine one seven nine nine zero one four five two six. Thank you.